Welcome back guys and girls to your 10th HTML5 and CSS3 Canvas tutorial and now we would be using the uh, fill, fill text and stroke text to uh, to you to define a sh uh, an outline of our text and it is really very simple what would you do is that you just give the same dimensions to your stroke text as you have given to your fill text so I just give uh, the x-axis and the y-axis value of 50 and 250 respectively and click on the save button save button on my canvas.js file and I just go to my browser click on the refresh button and now see that we have got uh, an outline of our text if you cannot see it uh, then I would just change uh, the background color to white of my canvas in canvas.css file click on the save button go to my browser click on refresh and now see that we have got a blue text with a red outline let's suppose I want to give it a shadow effect then what would I do I just go to my canvas3.js file and I say that the stroke style, style should be black so the stroke color is black and it should start at 51 and 251 so a little to the right and a little to the bottom I click on the save button go to my page refresh it and now see it, it is giving a shadow effect and uh, you can uh, play with these numbers and click on the save and you can try to create a type of a logo so this is how you can create a logo let us suppose so now uh, our text is beginning from this and if we would like to write ifectional.com in the corner then how can we do that we need to just uh, tell it that you need to start at 10 pixels on the x-axis and 50 pixels on the y-axis right and uh, for shadow it is 12 pixels and 52 pixels I click on the save button and then go to my page and click on the refresh button and now look that my page is uh, showing me our, our effectner.com logo with the border to my canvas and uh, I just need uh, my canvas to be uh, of this size diff so that I can write uh, uh, my on my page so I want this to appear as a shed as a border and you can uh, play with this uh, element and you can write different things uh, and you can use the arc uh, to draw circles and rectangle uh, 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 fill rect to uh, f uh, draw rectangles and lines and strokes and you can play with it and uh, I would uh, just uh, mm, uh, change the dimensions of my canvas and change its color to let's suppose I say that it should be pink and click on the save button go to canvas3.html and I say that the width should be around 300 pixels and height should be 60 pixels I click on the save button go to my uh, HTML page in the browser and refresh it and now see that we have got a um, logo type uh, uh, text on our canvas so this is how you can uh, create uh, a, a text with fill effect and uh, with the stroke effect and with shadow effect on your uh, HTML pages using the canvas and in the next tutorials we would be discussing about the gradients how can we fill 
the background colors or the rectangles and the circles with the gradients rainbow colors and uh, see you in the next tutorial thank you very much for joining me on on this ifactional.com video tutorial take care bye bye